Hey, what's going on everybody? Dark Horse Paratrooper here. So I had an interesting conversation the other day um, and I wanted to make a video about this because there is a lot of hate from the Harley Davidson community towards Indian motorcycles and most of it's unfounded and not based in reality apparently. This guy tried convincing me that his 117 Harley uh, Road Glide is faster than Indian Challenger and it's just not. And I tried telling this guy, dude, look at the dyno numbers. Look at the real world tested scientific numbers and you'll see. It's not. The only way that Harley gets on the level of the Indian Challenger is when you put the 131 Screaming Eagle setup into it. The crate engine, the intake, the exhaust, and everything that goes along with that. That's the only way. And I'm going to show you um, some dyno numbers. This is from Cycle World. Um, so all the credit for this dyno testing goes to Cycle World. And not enough people are looking at these comparisons. If you're looking for the most badass bagger on the market from the factory, you know, you need to be looking at the Indian Challenger. Harley Davidsons are great bikes. I've always liked them. I'm not some like diehard like Indian fanboy. I just love value for money and performance. And that's what the Indian gives you. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. The first thing I want to get into here is we're going to show off the tested dyno numbers for the stock Harley Davidson Road Glide from the factory. And we are going to be putting up right here, as you see, the comparison with a Indian Challenger. Now, as you can see, the only similarity between the two bikes is how much torque they are putting out to the rear wheel. The Harley-Davidson is lagging behind the Indian by one and a half foot-pounds. Now, if you look at the zero to 60 times, you can see there is a 0.72 second difference, which is pretty significant because, as you see, the quarter mile time for the Challenger, they tested it at 12.72 seconds versus 13.67 seconds, which is 1.16 seconds faster in a quarter mile. Pretty big difference. So our first winner, stock versus stock, is going to be the Indian Challenger. Now, the guy that I was talking to that was trying to put down the Indians and act like, you know, Harley Davidson's like the end-all, be-all, he has a 117. He's like, oh, I got a stage four. Okay, well, looking at Cycle World testing once again, when they tested the 117, it had 100.2 horsepower and 111.2 pound-feet of torque. Once again, falling behind a stock Indian Challenger. Now, that was on a 2016. When Cycle World tested a 2018, we also see a similar result. The Harley Davidson putting out 93 horsepower and putting out 112 foot pounds of torque, also falling behind the Indian Challenger. Once again, no surprise, the Indian Challenger takes a win against the 117. Now we get to what I tried to tell this guy about comparing Harley-Davidson to the new Indian Challenger. The only way to make that Harley-Davidson using factory parts comparable in performance to the Indian Challenger is with the Screaming Eagle 131 kit, the air intake and exhaust and whatever else goes along with it, and paying uh, about $10,000 to upgrade the factory bike to be at the same level as the Challenger. Now this is kind of funny um, and I'm not sure if maybe they tested the Harley at the crank and they tested the Challenger at the wheel because I know the Challenger was tested at the wheel but you can see that the 131 on paper and on the dyno is showing that it has 121.62 horsepower which puts it at 18.51 horsepower better than the Indian Challenger from the factory and it shows a hundred and thirty point six seven pound-feet of torque putting it at seventeen point five nine 
pound-feet more of torque versus the Indian stock. Now, those numbers are actually near identical to the numbers from the Indian factory, which makes me, again, wonder if maybe the Harley was tested at the crank. Regardless, looking at the 0 to 60 times, you can see we have a 4.09 for the road glide and a 4.1 0 to 60 for the Challenger, which is identical. No advantage for either one. Further elaborating on this point, as you can see the road glide in the quarter mile, they tested it at 12.58 seconds and 106.72 miles per hour versus the Challenger running the quarter mile in 12.72 seconds at 105.51 miles per hour. This means the Harley tested at 0 0.14 seconds, which is 14 tenths of a second, and 1.21 miles per hour more. So you have to spend 33% or more, so $10,000 on a road glide or a street glide to barely beat a stock Indian Challenger, which can cost twenty-two or $23,000. That's crazy. You have to spend a lot of money to make this Harley-Davidson comparable. That's just insane. So to, to elaborate on how crazy the idea is that Harley-Davidson is putting out a better deal for you, a better bike, factory to factory, Challenger hands down beats it. It beats everything up to the 131. And in order to get this 131, so you're talking a street glide or a road glide, I think the road glide, the road glide costs $28,000 if you want to equip it like the Challenger with the lean technology. So you have to tack on another $10,000 approximately on top of that to make it comparable. When you can buy an Indian Challenger, so without the lean technology, for about $23,000. So you're going to be paying $38,000 versus $23,000. So it's actually more like a $15,000 difference between the two bikes or 10,000 minimum if you end up going with a Challenger Dark Horse or a Challenger Limited because those ones cost about 28 k and they go up a couple thousand dollars at the most depending on what color you pick. So there is a clear winner when it comes to value and from the factory power without having to do anything to your bike and that is definitely the Indian Challenger. The Harley-Davidson Screaming Eagle 131 as tested by Cycle World using what's assumed to be the same dyno machine and the same rider with the same skill who we're assuming is equally skillful on both bikes. The Harley-Davidson has a very minimal and insignificant difference. Now even though the 131 Road Glide technically beats the Indian Challenger in stock form. I'm going to call this one a tie because you have to put a lot of money into this road glide in order to match the Challenger's performance and it barely beats it by a hair. If you think that's a win, you might want to rethink your life decisions because that is a lot of money to be investing in something for very, very minimal performance gain on the competition. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe for more. See you guys later.